great! You said I could be great! You said we were destined to be together! You said it to the world! You said it to me! And I wish you never had because you did not mean any of it! So what is a surefire way to conflict resolution between people that are actually very close but have let certain circumstances get between them in the process of probably building what they see as an empire or a business empire or building or working on a particular project conflict resolution between partners and the lessons that one can learn from such circumstances for one it steps back you know, in retrospect, one always has to look at in the beginning of that partnership where the administrative process is in place. So in other words, did you guys have a formal partnership agreement that was read over, understood, even compiled by all the partners in that particular business, particularly if it's a pair that formed that particular business? Did you formulate a business constitution that clearly stipulated the code of conduct between directors? I'm, I'm now talking on an, an employer level rather than an employee level. So, you know, a constitution that speaks to the directors. What are the do's and don'ts? What constitutes a conflict of interest? What constitutes opportunities that may expand the business, but you know may end up being individualistic? And how does one view and sort such a thing? So that's the first step that deals to assist you as a form of mediator. So a formal document that when everything is all hunky dory, and you are you know considering forming this partnership forming this entity or forming this business institution or organization at that point in time the questions you need to be able to answer them you know um in a way that is proactive in your approach rather than you know wait for that situation to arise then you answer a situation from a position of uh retrospect or a position of reactiveness rather than proactiveness you know but say you are now in an instance where you didn't formulate all those because for one you didn't know any better it was the first entity that you guys are actually opening you know in that particular instance then how do you deal with conflict between you and your business partner how do you deal with conflict in such a way that your relationship your business relationship and whatever personal relationship you may have how do you build it in such a way that it is not affected how do you build it in such a way that your business is still able to be stable and work regardless of you guys not seeing eye to eye on a particular level um from what i've seen in general we'll go we'll go off a percentage base i'm not saying this yeah. is of course everything's case by case if you having some problems with your friends in business you can end the business and keep the friendship mm. or you can continue with it and end both because the business is going to end because y'all fight and then you're not going to be friends anymore first is to be open about it as partners be open and put your perspectives and your viewpoints and your different ways of seeing things your mindsets put them on the table try to make them as detailed as possible so that the other partner has all the details and then in that come uh, do your best to come to uh, uh, a middle ground you know agree to disagree in situations where you can't agree agree to agree in situations where you can agree but always go back to the impetus of why you open that particular business in the part in the first place and why you partnered with the person you partnered with in the first place you saw the value at the point in time when you were opening the business you saw the prospects of the business you built expectations around each other's roles responsibilities and what you bring forth to the business moving forward so go back to that value proposition that you 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 both bring assess and evaluate whether that is still the particular case in your case and then build on that by coming to a middle ground a common ground a conflict resolution platform where you are able to resolve it in the instance that the two of you are not able to assist and move forward 
then that's where you are able to involve your mentors that's where you are able to um basically liaise with them put forth the situation ask for for advice because in a situation of conflict there's three sides to the story my side your side and the truth my side your side and the third side of the point the side that actually can stand on the top of the table without easily falling down that is the constant so what remains where i have my perspective you have your perspective but there's the side that remains is constant and is neutral so your your mentor your business mentor your relationship mentor plays that advisory role that is able to guide you in times where you either put emotions and emotions start flaring you know and it just becomes a fight of who's right against who's wrong as o or as opposed to who's wrong versus what is the bigger picture in that particular situation by looking at what is the core problem so involving a mentor as a mediator as you negotiate your terms as you negotiate your perspectives and as you work on negotiating that middle ground they will assist because for one they have the experience more often than not anything that you go through as a business person who is young who's running a startup who's running an sme anything that you go through the likelihood that your business part your, your business mentor has actually gone through that particular situation is very high therefore in previous videos where i touched on the importance of mentors i mentioned it explicitly to say leverage off of the experience of your mentors because they are able to really resolve a situation that you yourself may see as a big deal at this point in time but also from an individual introspective uh, position it's also important to say whatever conflict that i'm having at the moment whether with my business partner whether with my spouse it's always important to say will this actually matter in five years time will this actually have a big influence in five years time and if your answer is yes to that question then it means it's something that you need to address something that you need to resolve and then you need to literally nip it at the bud before it becomes something bigger than it is but any conflict can become resolved any conflict can become resolved the key thing is are you able to communicate in positions where emotionally you are affected are you able to communicate in a situation where your business partner is affected are you able to put aside your perspective after you've had the perspective of the next person in a way that you apply uh, Stephen Curry's uh, principle of think win-win you know which links very well with the other principle of Stephen Curry in his book of seven habits of highly effective people which says seek first to understand then to be understood I think it's something that we are very familiar with it's a saying that we are very familiar with but I urge you to actually go out there and read Stephen Curry's book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's a good read, but more so it has practical ways of assisting a, uh, a person in times of conflict, in times of conflict resolution, because it also speaks to proactivity and how uh, you focus on areas of um, opportunity and areas of influence versus areas of concern, which is areas that you can't actually do anything to change. You can't change how the weather pans out on a particular morning but you can change how you react to it so conflict resolution is similar in that particular instance of how does one actually approach it but over and above that i'd say um um seek basically to find that middle ground assess and evaluate the value that each person brings when the two of you are unable to sort out the situation amicably then seek a mentor to assist you so conflict resolution between business partners that's basically my tools of how to actually resolve it in that particular way of course there are numerous ways and numerous books out there that speak to conflict resolution so there's a lot that i would have left out 
but go out there and seek it because conflict is sometimes inevitable and unavoidable but seek to actually resolve it in such a way that you are able to grow from that particular situation you are able to assess what are the lessons learned in that particular situation so that you are not put in a predicament where you repeat the same mistake but yeah let's basically focus on the basics and then work on that peace out